Hello, and welcome back to the Mole Cricket Vlogs. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these. This is a pickle jar with dirt and, uh, well, a mole cricket. There's also some plants in there. But, uh, yeah, this is another jar. So I can show you how I made the other one. Um... I don't think I can find another mole cricket, so it'll just be a jar with dirt in it. Let's start with the lid. So I drilled holes and uh, deburred all of the uh, bits that stuck up, so it wouldn't like cut me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the jar except the sticker that is on this one you can probably see it it's the same one it's just the logo um, this one I peeled it off so the plants would probably have a better chance of uh, actually surviving longer because there's not gonna be a mulch in it eating the plants so this can just be like a little plant jar, but <clears throat> I just used a screwdriver, a flathead, to just scrape it off little by little, uh, and then I washed it off. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. The main thing that I was worried about is it leaving a bunch of scratches, but I don't actually see any, so that's a pretty good way to get the sticker off. So. That's pretty much it for the jar. Uh, let's move on to the dirt and stuff. It is uh, super bright out this morning, so uh, let's make this quick. This is just where I get all my dirt. This little garden right here that isn't being used. So, nothing really special there, but uh, it is some nice. So, can say that about it. You don't want to put too much dirt in there, uh, so the plants have room. But I sh probably should have put more dirt in the one with the mole cricket because it lives underground, and it just it's just going to eat the plants. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter there. I'm just trying to pack some of this dirt in there so it's more firm. I should have done this too with the mole cricket so the dirt wouldn't get pushed up as much. That might be enough dirt. So now, let's go find some plants. This is where I went yesterday to find all my plants. You can see there's a bunch of little weeds poking up out of the rocks so yeah that's why I kind of like it here so I'm trying to find some good ones this little guy right here looks kind of good if it's anything like this though it actually might be this which gets pretty big as you can see it's my hand uh, so that might not be good for a little jar, but we could try it. So, what we're trying to do is dig it up and preserve as much of the root as I can, so as to not kill the plant. Because we don't want to just put in a like a fake plant that's just like the leaves and stuff. We want the whole root everything so it can actually start growing in here all right I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera but I got a bunch of the roots kind of looks like hair on the camera but I got the roots so this is plant number one I at least like having two so there's a little bit of diversity so 
you can see the, the shape of the, the leaves itself and like the pattern that it goes in. We don't want another one like that. But I mean, there's like a perfect little tiny hole right next to where we were just digging. I really like that little tiny guy right there. So, let's see if I can't get that too. Look at that. That's a long root. Plant to root ratio. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Alright. So we got our two plants. So here comes the fun part, trying to snake in the roots. I think I'm gonna do this off camera so I can actually have my hands back. So I'll talk to you when it's over. Alright, so I did that. I have the plants in. They're mostly straight up. So there's the little tiny one and there's the taller one. Uh, I also added a rock and a little stick in there to, you know, make it feel more like a little, a little world that I'm creating. So, yeah. I'd say anyone with a pickle jar and some free time could do something like this um, yeah it was pretty simple and easy and well any small creature could live in there potentially if you feed them <laughs> so I think that's it um, thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the time lapse Thank you.